All right, hi class. Uh, today we're going to be looking at lesson 8-2 or 8.2. We're going to find the volume of cylinders. So our objective is we're going to be able to find the volume of a cylinder. So remember, volume is the amount of space a three-dimensional prism or three-dimensional space something takes up. So it's the amount of space a three-dimensional space takes up. So to find the volume of a cylinder, so we have our cylinder here, we need to find the area of the base and we multiply it times the height. So volume is equal to base times height. And in this case, our base is pi r squared because it's a circle. So volume for a cylinder is equal to V equals pi r squared times h. So notice b is capitalized. That is telling us that it's the area of our base. So that is the volume. That's the formula or the equation for finding volume of a cylinder. So we need to find the volume of this rectangular prism and cylinder. So we're going to relate those two. So we're going to be looking at uh, a fish tank. Gina and Ricardo need to buy a tank that has large enough for 25 zebra fish. So they got their little fishies in here. Here's their fish. That didn't look like a fish. Here's a fish. Let's see if this could be a better fish. Don't tell Miss Asia. All right, there's a fish. So we have 25 little fish in there. And the tank needs to have a volume of 2,310 cubic inches. How can Gina and Ricardo determine whether the cylinder tank can hold the zebra fish? So we need to find the volume of this tank. So we can find the volume by finding the area of the base. So our base is equal to pi r squared. Our radius is 12. So our base is equal to 3.14 times 12 squared. So our base is equal to 3.14 times 12 squared gives us 452.16. So the volume is equal to the base times the height. So volume is equal to 452.16 times our height, which is 48 inches. So our volume is equal to, so we multiply that times 48, 21703.68 inches cubed, because it is volume. So yes, they do have enough space because that is larger than uh, that minimum amount, okay? So I'd like you to go ahead and try this one. All right, so now that you've done the, that one on your own, now we're going to find an unknown measure. So the volume of, juice, of a juice can is 300 milliliters, which is equal to 300 cubic centimeters. What is the radius of the can? Use 3.14 for pi and round your answer to the nearest tenth. So we know our height is 14 centimeters. So volume is equal to the base times the height, or our volume is equal to, our base is a circle, so pi r squared times the height. Well, we know that our volume is equal to 300 and we know our height is equal to 14 so we can substitute these values in 300 equals 3.14 times r squared times 14 so to find the radius we can solve so we'll have 300 equals 3.14 times 14 gives us 43.96 r squared. We will divide both sides by 43.96. So
So we have R is equal to 300 divided by 43.96, 6 point, this is R squared actually, 6.82 approximately now, so I'm rounding it. So when we take the square root of both sides, we will have R is equal to the square root of 6.82, approximately equal to 2.61 centimeters. Okay, so that's approximately our radius. Okay? And for this last one, we need to solve problems involving volume of a cylinder. So the safety barrels are used on some highways to cushion cars on impact. If the city manager approves the purchase of a 15 cubic meters of sand, how many barrels can be filled with sand? Okay, so how many barrels can be filled with sand? So we know we are wanting to find how many barrels, find the number of barrels that can be filled, okay? So we're wanting to find the volume of how much one barrel can hold. So we know that volume for a cylinder is pi r squared times height. We don't know what our volume is. We do know what the radius is. Our radius is, well the diameter is 0.9, so our radius is 0 0.45, so 0 0.45 squared times, our height is 1.2, so times 1.2. So our volume is equal to 0 0.45 squared, times 1.2 times 3.14 gives us 0 0.76302 meters cubed. So we have 15, uh, if the city manager approves to purchase 15 cubic meters of sand, how many barrels can they fill? So we need to take we need to find the number of barrels that can be filled, be filled. Okay, so we will take 15 divided by 0 0.763202 equals 19.7. So we can fill 19 barrels of sand, or we can just fill 19 barrels. Okay, because there's 0.7 of the last one is filled. Okay, so the key here is knowing how to find the volume and then finding those missing values. So go ahead and try this one on your own. And I look forward to seeing you in class.